a few kiss what's going on send you guys love and light thank you to everyone that's like share subscribed if you guys have purchased a reading or if you've donated to my page i appreciate you thank you so much this energy uh that i'll be speaking about can be masculine or feminine put it on whatever side you need to okay so we're just going to jump in um, the person is in, coming through in your energy, whatever this is in your energy, a fucus. Uh, this is a person that is married. This is a person that likes to have their cake and eat it too. So in other words, you may not have known that this person was married. They had somebody in the cut. They may have told you that they were co-parenting, but you didn't really understand the extent of that situation ship or that relationship, or that marriage, okay? Um, this is somebody that was with someone for a long period of time. Um, I don't feel like they totally disclosed what the relationship was to you. They probably made you feel like it was one way, and all the while your intuition may have pinged you, pinged you, pinged you, because you felt something else, okay? Um, I feel like you guys was all the way on top of this from the start, but I feel like this person played you like boo-boo the fool because they tried to make it seem like it was something that it wasn't, but it was, okay? You guys was on point from the start. So whoever I'm talking to right now, you listen to your intuition and you may have called this person on their BS and they got you to uh, believe something else, but you were there in the beginning. You ha you were spot on where you needed to be. So you need to really trust that. And hopefully that was some time ago. And now at the point where you are now, you are trusting more, you know? Now, this person was seeing you had a whole commitment and was seeing someone else or other people on the side so when it comes to this person yeah somebody may need to see that Sagittarius reading because this person greedy okay this person is greedy likes to have their cake and eat it too so they want to have anything that they can get their hands on or anything that's really not meant for them that's the energy coming through so I'm going through the dark night of the soul. So spirit says, okay, well, I'm about to drag your ass because you keep doing the wrong things. And I'm finna show you, you know, I can show you better than I could tell you. This is a person that was uh, exposed to spirituality many, many times, may have grown up in a religious household or have uh, religious parents. However, this person dabbles in the arts, dabbles in the craft um, and may be connected to a person that dabbles in the craft this is why they're being dragged through the dark night of the souls right now because spirit said if you're not going to change i'm gonna drag your ass okay this is what it is this is a person um that has stayed tapped into your energy a fucus so if you out the blue you know start thinking about this person it's because they tapped in you know, they're, they're going to your social media profiles. They're riding by your house. They're doing whatever they need to do to stay connected to you because they feel like you're the one that got away. I feel like initially this person walked away from you, but this person is now upset because your ass ain't come back. Really? I can feel your energy coming towards me or leaving me. Right now they feel that shit leaving them. And they don't like it. This is a karmic soulmate. Okay. This is a person that took you through it. So that you can get to the point of where you are right now. A few kids. You guys understand things on a different level. You guys are in a different place than when you met this person. Now there was a lot of goodness. And now when, when I say karmic soulmate. I'm saying karmic just for lessons. Right. Everything that you had with this person was not bad. Or else you wouldn't have been with them. Yes. Right? You had your good moments. You had your breakthroughs. You had um, a serious spir spiritual connection to this person. And I, they felt it too. But this is something that they re rebelled against. Like they were like a rebel. They just went against it. They didn't like how they felt. They didn't like that they were connected to you. They didn't like that they were drawn to you. So they did everything in their power to do something against it. Right? That person that they have a child with is also a soulmate of theirs okay so that's their karmic 
This person is your karmic, but they're with their karmic. And that person is beating them down, okay? Now, now, not only are they getting beat down from that person, going through that person's spell work, whatever that is going on, but they're still going through the dark night of the soul right now. So now they have to look at everything from a different view. Now they have to really pay attention to some of the shit that they've went through and some of the things that they've caused in their life, okay? Now this person is saying, you know what, I'm doing the work on myself to come back to you, so somehow some way this person has either talked to a reader has talked to a spiritualist or something of that nature and now they got a better understanding of why they've been going through what they're going through and they know hey i have to put in this work i have to go through this karma i have to you know be a better person i have to elevate myself in order to get back to a fucus but what they're not realizing is by the time they've done all of that a fucus is not checking for you at all. A fucus is on to the next and happy. Right? You should have paid attention to a fucus when the fucus was in your arms or in your bed. How about that? Right? So let's continue. Okay? So I'm a married man that likes to have a cake and, and eat it too. Restrictions. Right? Eight of Swords energy. Right? This is a person that doesn't like restrictions. If this person feels like they they stuck or they feel like someone's getting stuck to them or they feel like someone is so clingy, they, they need to do something to uh, eliminate that cling. Okay? What they're not realizing is with them feeling trapped and restricted and them being backed in the corner, right? Uh, they feel like it's too much coming at them but what they're doing is they're making other people feel hopeless and powerless by how they're treating them, right? So this is why the divine is pulling them through, you know, a bird's eye view of everything that they've done up until this point. Not only that, I feel like they have been hurt the way that they have hurt you, right? So they have no choice but to go back and look at everything that they did and how they moved and how they've gotten to, you know, this point where they are right now, okay? They have no choice but to go back and look, okay? We got Gemini energy. The issues that they're going through may be related to a Gemini energy, okay? Now, I have, I'm have going through Dark Night of the stole, uh, Souls, excuse me, action, right? Hastiness, speed, progression, movement, action, rushing, Okay, Eight of Wands energy. Okay, this is Sagittarius energy here. Okay, we're in a Fucus reading. It fits, right? So we're going to rock with it. One minute. Now, this person, they know, a Fucus, that you are spiritual. They know that you understand what the hell is going on in their life right now. And they know that you can act as a guide because you have been that to them at some point in time. They want to talk to you because they want to go over some of the shit that's happening to them so that they can get a better understanding, a grasp of why it's happening um, to try to determine what's going on, right? And to stop some of the karma that's coming at them because when you were in their life, a few kids, they didn't go through this shit. They had good shit happening, right? You were like a lucky charm to them. So they feel like, hey, if I have my fucus back, none of this shit is going to happen like this. All of this shit is going to be okay. You know what I'm saying? This is what it is. This this is what, what I'm seeing. And I'm, I just noticed that I'm over here reading my emails as I'm doing readings and it's coming up on my screen. One minute. <laughs> Don't want y'all reading my emails as I'm going on. Anyway. Um, so yeah. So here we are. I can feel your energy coming towards me or leaving me. Now, you guys, Queen of Cups energy, Cancer energy coming through here. You guys were very nurturing. You took care of this person. Backwards, frontwards, upside down. There's no one else in their life that takes care of them the way that you did. Not only did you supply them with information, you supplied them with love and care. Okay, up to now, they thought that they could replace you. They tried it. They tried it a few times. 
And they thought they had someone just like you, but they got a rude awakening, right? Now they crave what you were bringing to the table. And I believe what I'm feeling here, okay, is the sense of them feeling like you were not enough at the time. They had to have other people. You wasn't shiny. You wasn't uh, 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 flossing. You wasn't that type of person that was out there trying to, you know, make a name for yourself or trying to, you know, pull people in or, or dealing with this one and that one. You was to yourself. Right. And this person may have felt like you was boring. They may have felt like you just wasn't about that life that they were, were about. Like you wasn't going out and drinking and going to lounges and all that shit. You wasn't doing that. You was about your money, coming home, taking care of your family, doing what you needed to do. Right. So this person may have been out there in the streets. And when it comes to you, you know, they felt like you didn't have the same things in common that they had. Right. You didn't do those things. So, yeah, I'm going to go out here and I'm going to hang and I'm going to party with the people that are into some of the things that I'm into, the swing parties, the third, third parties, the, the, the bullshit that um, they was going through. Okay, for some of the, the uh, men here, I have to say it, I'm feeling like there was some homosexual activity as well that happened during a third party situation. I'm feeling that. It's not out here in these cars, but it's coming through my mind and I'm going to roll with it. Cause that's what it is okay i feel like in some places this person may have treated you like they were uh like you were their mother right i feel like they had a mother energy around them yes but i feel like some of the things that they wanted you to do was like you know how, how do i say this <sighs> like they would ask their mother something and then ask you or they would ask you something and then be like, I asked you before I asked my mother. And in other words, look, I'm giving you this because I can't give you shit else, right? I know a few kids that you want a relationship from me, but I can't give it to you. So I'm going to give you little shit like this or little validations to make you feel good so that you'll still rock with me while I'm out here rocking with everybody else. That's it, right? So I'm a karmic soulmate, vibrancy, queen of wands. Okay, this is this is the energy that I was getting. This is this is you. A few is coming through this reading. Okay, very attractive, very magnetic, very helpful, very well liked, very kind, very loyal, very generous. This is what they're missing because whoever it is that they're with is beating on their ass. Okay, whoever it is that they're with is not giving them that same energy that you've always given them. Okay, and now they miss it right now they miss what you have to offer okay leo energy coming through here right i miss it i miss i miss i miss okay something could be going down in leo season for this person too okay i'm doing work on myself to come back to you okay page of wands right this person, yeah, that's what's going on in Leo season. This person's going to try to contact you or they're trying to think about how to do so, okay? They're going to come to you on some old friendly shit. They want to see and reach out, touch bases and see if, number one, if you'll even talk to them. Number two, you know what I mean? They want to... Uh, they want to get back to a sense of having you in their life because they feel like shit went south when they did you dirty which it did absolutely right um but it went south not because of you said uh, i'm about to call y'all sagittarius a fucus um it, it went south not because of you it went south okay because of this person's actions okay they understand how good you were and they understand uh, that without you, their life has not been the same. This is what the energy is that I'm picking up on, right? Um, they know there's going to be some competition to get you back or to, to try to get you back. Or there's competition around you at this time. So you got people checking for you. They don't like that, okay? Um, they're trying to figure out how to come back to you. Mm-hmm. All right. 
don't feel like you're going to take this person back. I don't even feel like you're going to be checking for them when they do come back. We have divine life purpose. You have a focus in the story, like I said before, right? You're trusting the signs. You're trusting your inner guidance. And what you're doing is giving you fulfillment, okay? So if you're watching tarot readings, just like you're doing here with me right now, right? Some of the things that you've been feeling, you're getting validation on some of the things that you've been feeling. This is teaching you to trust yourself, and when I tell people, you know, um, that I deal with my clients, look, if you're going to be watching tarot readings, do it so that you can clarify what you're already feeling for yourself. You're tapping into your own energy. You're tapping into your own intuition. And this is something that you're using to verify and validate what you're already feeling. Okay. You don't come to a tarot card reading and be like, oh, I just want to find out the tea. No, it's something that you're feeling already because that's the reason why you're here in the first place. Okay, right? So divine life purpose is where you're at, your focus. You guys are doing the work on yourself, doing the work on your life, and, and you uh, have turned your energy away from this person fully. I feel like this person does not even impact you or your thought pattern anymore. Right, so you got aquamarine. If you don't have that crystal around you, please get it. We also have sujolite. Okay, own your divine power. You guys don't know how strong you are. You went from a place of allowing people to, to, uh, to siphon your energy, siphon your goodness away from you to the point where you guys were depleted. So it says re replace codependent people pleasing with assertiveness and empowerment. Okay, spirit is wanting you to do that for you. Okay, and to stay on that course, do not go back to being a people pleaser because this is where this person wants you to be. So, if this is a person that comes back to you and say you decided to give them another shot, this person will go right back to doing the shit that they was already doing and they would uh, start siphoning your energy again. That would take you off your divine life purpose path. And spirit does not want that, okay? So someone here needs to hear me, right? Going back to this person would be detrimental to your spiritual growth. This is not what you want to do. Spirit is saying, hey, heads up. This person is going through a dark night of the souls. They want to talk to you because they know you understand and can help them, okay? But you are off on your own. They are off on their own. And spirit wants it to stay that way, all right? So this is what I have for you guys. I'm sending y'all love and light. Y'all take care.